Hi Year One and Two, I'm at Erpingham today working in the office and I thought I would take some time to share some ideas for you of things that we were talking about at our last Zoom session and maybe some other activities that you might like to try before we get to our next one which will be later on this week. So I thought I would just have a look at the PowerPoint that we talked about last time. So I'm going to share that and start from there. So you will remember that we were talking about mixed up animals last week and we had some crazy creatures that were all mashed up into each other. Um, so I asked you at the end of last session to create your own creature and think about which three animals you would uh, mash together. And I've already had some really fantastic designs by email. So thank you very much to everybody who sent them in. You don't have to send them in, but if you have done one of those, then bring it along to share at our next session. So you're going to think about what your creature would be able to do and what words you would use to describe it. So these were your three challenges last week. So challenge one was to draw your animal's habitat. Challenge two was to write some adjectives to describe it. And challenge three was to describe where it lives or how it moves or what it eats. And so I would thought I'd just show you some examples of those sorts of things so that you can um, have a better idea of what I want you to do. So maybe pause the video for a second and just tell your grown up or somebody who sat with you which three animals you can see in this creature and maybe what you would call it. Okay, so the three animals that you should be able to see in this creature are um, a chameleon's head and a kangaroo's body and a scorpion's tail. So those are the three creatures that I decided to choose um, for this one. So the first thing I wanted to do once I'd created my creature and I'd chosen which three animals I wanted to see together and I drew them out. The next thing I wanted to do was to think about its habitat. Its habitat means where it lives. So you will see that I have decided to make my um, animal live in the jungle and I put some tropical flowers on there because that shows the sorts of places that it likes to hide and some long grass because it likes to scuttle about in the long grass and then I included some pictures of the insects that it likes to eat for its food with its long powerful tongue. Now you could draw your habitat if you wanted to but because I'm working on my computer it was easier for me to cut and paste images from the internet which you could also do if you've got an adult that can help you to do that safely. So once you've created your animal and you've created your habitat, the next task you had to do was to think about some adjectives. Now try and think about really powerful adjectives. So try not to use things like big or small. You might use huge or giant or um, large or tiny, teeny weeny. Um, and you'll see on here, I've got lots of different adjectives and try to make them as interesting as possible. So I think my animal has a furry body um, that it has a colour changing head because it's based on a chameleon. It has googly eyes that can swivel in all directions. It has scaly skin. I really like the colour of this chameleon skin. And it has powerful bouncing legs and really strong muscles. And I also decided that the point of that um, scorpion's tail was going to be lethal to any of the prey that it encountered. So I've only come up with uh, seven there, but I think you've just come up with a few adjectives that really describe your animal um, and tell me something about maybe how it moves or what it looks like. So that's what I did for the first bit. And then I decided to do a piece of writing. So I decided to do the piece of writing which says what my animal is called and that describes in some way what that creature is like. So my crazy creature is called a cami scorpi brew. It has a scorpion's tail, a kangaroo's middle and a chameleon's head. This creature has googly eyes to see all around him and scaly green skin to camouflage himself. He can bounce very fast because he has strong legs and he defends himself with his lethal tail. So can you see how I've used all of those adjectives that I had around my creature in my piece of writing? to try and tell you something about um, how my Cami Scorpy <laughs> Roo uh, moves and how he camouflages himself, how he stays safe and the parts of the animal, uh, different animals that he's made up from. So it would be really fantastic if as well as drawing your animal, drawing where it lives, thinking about some adjectives, you could then begin to build that into a piece of writing. 
doesn't have to be very long, but if you're using really powerful adjectives, then it will be a really successful piece of writing. Now, the last thing I thought you could do before, if you need an extra activity before our next Zoom, is to create your animal in plasticine or Play-Doh. Now, all of these pictures are not mine. I did not make these creatures, but they've come off the internet. They don't show creatures that are mashed up, but they give you an idea of how you could make the different animals out of Play-Doh. Um, so what you could do is to create your creature out of plasticine or out of play-doh. You could even create the habitat if you want to, um, to bring that and show um, where your creature's living. You could create the food that it eats, you could create its friend, which might be a completely different messed up animal. Um, you can create whatever you want out of the plasticine. Um, and it's just another way of representing that animal. So before our next Zoom session, those were a few ideas that you could try. It would be really lovely if you would do some of the writing, um, but there's lots of activities there as well. Um, I will, when I send the link to this video across, I will also send the information about our next Zoom session um, when we will probably be thinking about putting these animals into a story, but I haven't quite decided yet. Okay, take care everybody and I look forward to seeing you at our next session later on this week. Thank you.